we are back on The Rodriguez, Rodriguez show, show, and we have our only guest for this episode, Santa Ana, a rapper up and coming in the game. His name is Design. What's up, man? What's good? What's good? How you guys doing? Good, good. good. Uh, they can follow you on Instagram at Design Official. That's yes, D-Z-Y-N-E Official on Instagram. And uh, yeah, thanks for driving out from Santa Ana. We're really close sure. to it. Always supporting Santa Ana talent. Uh, so take us back to the beginning, man. How did you get started? Uh, well, I first got started like... It was like about six months ago mm-hmm. when I started recording, but I started writing maybe like right after high school. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just listening to a bunch of music, I kind of got influenced off of that, you know, what my pops are showing me and stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah, just that old school stuff, pretty much. Nice. So you're pretty new to the, you've already established yourself. I mean, in terms of like your talent, we were we were kind of like, oh, damn, he's, he's got it. So yeah, we got you on pretty quick. Um, how, how old are you? How, when, when was high school? Uh, high school was last year, so I'm only 18 right now. Oh, oh damn! Yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty young. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. Um, so there was a one of the when I was reading your bio, there was a moment that inspired you to get started. It was when you met 50 Cent, right? Yeah, yeah. I met him at a liquor store around here, Nady's Liquor Store. Yeah, so, it's on yeah. Harbor, right? Yeah. So how did that go down? Like, what what, what sparked that moment? It was actually uh, my friend's dad worked there, so mm-hmm. then we um he he invited me because he knew I was like a big fan of the old school music, so I I went. And then actually, like, they um, told us to help out because my friend's dad worked there. So they told us to help out. And then I ended up getting paid for it. And then I met 50 Cent, too. So it was, it was cool. Experience. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, nice. Was, there, was, was there a lot of people that day? Yeah, there was a huge line outside. So, I mean, I was inside the whole time. But I didn't see how much. But when he posted it, uh, there was yeah. a huge line. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I drove by that day, and we were just like, damn, 50 Cent came to Costa Mesa, that was yeah, surprising. Yeah, I know, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, so, yeah, so you, how did you become a fan of, like, that that older music? Uh, during quarantine a lot is um, when I started listening to, like, well, the first full album I listened to was Illmatic by Nas. Mm-hmm. A lot of what, what my dad had showed me, like, Illmatic, uh, Big L. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys heard of him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, just, like, a bunch of that stuff, like, the New York scene. Yeah. And then, like, obviously the West Coast stuff, like Tupac, Snoop Dogg, all that stuff. So just from there, just listening to everything. And you can hear, I can definitely hear the West Coast, uh, the East Coast influence on your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot. Yeah, big time. Uh, that's, that's so cool that somebody uh, that young would, would attach to themselves to that. Because it feels like the, the, you know, the older that music gets, the less likely like younger people reach it. Yeah, you know? there's, there's not a lot of, a lot of the, like a lot of people my age don't really listen to the type of stuff or yeah. go in depth in that old school stuff. Yeah, well, that's cool. Team, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, you really dug yeah. into that. Yeah, that's super dope. Uh, so, how did you come up with your your name? Design, just because my name's my real name's Danny. Mm-hmm. So then it was just it was just kind of like a play on the first letter, yeah. and then from there just it kind of just stuck with me pretty much. Cool design, yeah, yeah. That's a cool name. Appreciate it. Um, so, uh, is there anybody like when you decided, okay, I'm gonna start recording and releasing music? Is there somebody you look up to that that like the way they do business? Uh. Bi- well, business wise, not really. I haven't really gone into depth like that much, but just music wise, just like the influences that or like the the li- the lyricists that kind of stuck with me a little more, like mm-hmm. the old school, like Lupe Fiasco mm-hmm. and Fifty Cent, and then uh, I don't know if you guys heard of Black Thought from the Roots. Oh yeah, of course. And yeah, definitely. He's, yeah, and then uh, some guy named Royce the Five Nine. He came up with Eminem, yeah, and then Eminem as well, and then yeah, like uh, Griselda. They're oh, yeah, pretty. Yeah. They're we good. talk about them like every week on this yeah. show. <laughs> yeah, they're they're good. hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, you, I, like I said already, like all that stuff you can hear in the music already. Yeah. Um, so uh, one of the people that I know you worked with is Tiz. How, how did you work with him? Tiz, uh, one of my one of my friends connected me with him. Like it was like September of last year, mm-hmm. and I started going with Tiz and more and more. We kind of built like like a friendship. You feel me? So uh, after a while, I mean, I just I just stuck with him. He's he's, he's really good at what he does. So. Yeah, no, he's produced, for, I mean, he's mixed and produced for a lot of our friends. So yeah. Definitely in the right hands with somebody like that. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's real good. Shout out to his, man. Yeah, yeah. shout out to his. So, uh, I know it's early in, in your, your music career, your you know, your whole evolution, but right now, like, how do you how do you start a song? How do you write a song? Uh, Pretty much, like, well, before I would just, you know, I just kind of think of the lyrics at first, but then listening more to, like, 50 Cent and stuff like that, I'm trying to think of hooks because i feel like hooks are the most catchy part of a track Mm -hmm. so i started listening i mean i started like kind of finding melodies a little more like lupe fiasco does the same thing Mm -hmm. so i'm trying to i'm just trying to incorporate that a little more yeah no it makes sense yeah because that's 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 what's going to make this you could have the bars but if nobody remembers it with a catchy hook like it's yeah we're just going to forget about it yeah 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 you're right um so so you just started making music and you're already off to a great start 
do you hope in the future do you hope to like is your goal to like be a person that tours or do you want to do use music to get into other aspects of like creativity oh probably both like um i want i would like to tour you know it seems like a cool kind of lifestyle to live just mm -hmm. touring everywhere you know around the world mm -hmm. but also i i mean i don't really want to i don't really want music to be the only thing i'm known for so i want to expand into like the restaurant business or do like just something else a little more like business wise i guess oh gotcha gotcha yeah, yeah so it'd be cool it's cool because yeah, like a lot of the you know people we admire, like even Two Chains, like he's a business owner, yeah, but he still makes dope music as well at the same yeah. time. Like yeah. you don't have to just be a creative person; you can also be a business person. Yeah. Well, what does what does Two Chains? Uh, he, have? he owns a restaurant, uh, Escobar in Atlanta. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay that's pretty cool. tight. Um, so yeah, so you 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 have all these goals to reach where you want to do so many creative things. Yeah. Um, it, what do you think of the people around you in the Orange County music scene? Like, what do you think about that? Uh, they're pretty good. I mean, everyone kind of has their own style. I respect that. At the same time, I'm not gonna you know knock the hustle or anything. I I respect it. So it's cool. I have I have a few friends that make music. Uh, there's there's a few rappers that I've heard. I mean, I'm not really like, I don't really know a lot of rappers like personally. Mm -hmm. But like what I've heard, like Doughboy Tony, he's pretty good. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. there's a guy named Mosaic. I yeah. think that's Mosaic? his name. Mosaic. Yeah, Mosaic. Yeah. He's pretty good too. And uh, yeah, just I've I mean, there's a lot of people around Orange County that make music. So yeah. it's it's cool because yeah, some of the the people that you mentioned, like we've had on the show, and and you can see like you can they've been here for a while, like with that that impact. So it's cool that they're reaching you know people that are you that are, like you that are just coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're pretty good. Um, have you checked out any like uh, open mics any, that you've been around? Uh, no, nah, I haven't. I would like to, but well, I wanted to kind of build up my music first because mm -hmm. I feel like um. Then I could have kind of a tr like a range of choices instead yeah. of just three songs only. So yeah. maybe I mean maybe in the near future at the end of the summer maybe. Yeah. Nice. So, so you're, you're currently working on a collection of songs. Yeah, yeah. I have a few tracks coming out with um the producer from Coast to Coast. His name is Giovanni. Shout out Giovanni. Um, and then there's a uh, two producers. The one from One for the Money. His name is Risha Mills. He's he's real good too. And then a producer from Denmark named Stakor. Mm -hmm. He's I met I met all of them on TikTok. So I mean, it kind of uh, it's see. pretty cool. Yeah, it's so cool because there's so many music creators on there. You can just reach out and then yeah, just work. And once they hear you, like, they probably appreciate like somebody with talent on their beats. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, before we talk about the the singles that you've released, mm -hmm. um, what is your your dream collaboration? Is there somebody you'd like to work with? Uh, there's a few. I mean, Doughboy Tony would be cool. Mm -hmm. Um, there's um there's a few like New York rappers there's one named lord sco he's pretty good he's like he's like 19 or something like that and he's he's real good um there's a few others as well uh some guy named willie nova he's he's pretty good i think i think he's from new york also mm -hmm. and those are the only people right now i think i just want to build up myself first just to get like some credibility and stuff like that and then yeah. they're kind of venture out when you're making the music that you were making right now, like, do you do you see yourself like in the future creating like different styles or like where do you see yourself going with that? I would like to, cause like right now I'm more like um just like intricate bars and stuff like that, but I want to do like concept types type music as well. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like Lupe Fiasco really inspired me. Like his first album down, it's full of full of a bunch of dope concepts. Oh, yeah. So I want to do something like that. Nice. Yeah, it's true. It's like it's it's one thing to have the bars, but when you have a structure and you're telling a story, that's Something you, you can make memorable. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, talk about the two tracks that you're, you're, you're going to perform today, two Coast to Coast and One for the Money. How did those tracks come about? So Coast to Coast, that's my most recent one. Uh, that's with Giovanni. He, um, we, since he lives, he lives out in Texas, so we're about the same age too. So I like FaceTime him when we're building beats and stuff like that. And Coast to Coast, it came up and right away I thought of the hook because that, that's what I'm kind of focusing on. So like, in like five minutes, I had the hook already down. Nice. And then, um, and then from there, I kind of just built. I had I had a the verse pre written from another beat. So then from there, I just built around it, and I just, I came up with with coast to coast. I was nice. thinking more like um, like just just making something a little more catchy this time. Just mm -hmm. like with a lot of energy, everything just everything feels good pretty much. Yeah. And you released it at the perfect time right before the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I was aiming for too. Like kind of bring that summer energy type nice. into it. Uh, what about one for the money? Well, for the money, it was um, it was like towards the beginning of it was actually well my first track, officially my first track because I have a few on SoundCloud, mm -hmm. but it was officially like my first release. It was um, I was listening. I had a kick push on repeat by Lupe Fiasco. So I was thinking of like um, 
you know, I was I was trying to have that energy, mm. but like now that I that now that I look back, like um, if if I had like the, the better delivery and stuff like that, like energy wise, I think it would have it would have done a lot better. Mm, like it, it would have sounded better. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, since it was my first time kind of recording, then it didn't really. I got you. Yeah. But it's yeah, but it's all a process, right? Like it's you're still early, so the fact that you're looking back and going, oh, I could have improved this and this, it just shows you that you're already growing. Even yeah. From, from the first release. Yeah, know, yeah. It's it's all a process. I mean, I'll eventually it'll be like I'll be at a point where it's just kind of like mastered it, I guess. So. Yeah, I and mean, that's that's what you strive for. Yeah. Um. Well, so what do you hope to accomplish this year? This year, I mean, right now I have like more. It's more stats wise. I have a hundred months. I just hit like a hundred monthly listeners. So then I'm trying to get at least a thousand by the end of the year. I think that'll be good, like a good level. Yeah. To reach, and then from there, I just keep growing. You know. Definitely, man. Yeah, that's, that's super you. dope. Cause it's like, but I'm when I'm listening, when I'm here right now, it's like you're really like, like you said, you started about recording six months ago. You've been really into the whole music now yeah. for a while. And it's just cool because you can go so many ways with it, and a lot of potential for you, bro, which is appreciate super super dope. It. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, even even in the songs we heard, like we went through your SoundCloud too, and we we sound, heard some really good stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, I was that was more like I was focused on bars, you know. I didn't write yeah. any hooks or anything, and th those weren't like my beats, so I did I couldn't think of any hooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but still, man, you're putting them out, and then like you're gonna get that feedback, and like you say, before you know it, you're at a thousand followers. Yeah, you know? super yeah. cool. Um, so, are you ready to perform a couple tracks? Yeah, I can perform a couple tracks. All right, before we do that, though, we have this segment called 60 Seconds With. This is the speed round of questions. Are you ready for this? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. 60 Seconds With Design right now. Favorite cartoon character? SpongeBob. Favorite song right now? Kick Push. Uh, one more to describe you when you were a kid, so like last uh, year. <laughs> like, I don't know, smart, I guess. All right. Uh, yeah. Do you have a hidden talent? Uh... Basketball? I don't know. <laughs> Netflix, Netflix, Hulu, or HBO? Uh, Hulu. Uh, name of your best friend in high school? Steven. First CD you ever bought? Uh, D12 CD. Nice. Favorite movie? Favorite movie? Um, Avengers Endgame. Nice. Uh, rap and Drake or R&B Drake? Rap and Drake. Nice. Uh, favorite non-hip-hop genre? Favorite non-hip-hop genre? That would probably be like... um. What is like Lauren Hill and Alicia Keys follow R and B? Yeah. Okay. Uh, early two thousands hip hop or early twenty tens hip hop? Early two thousands. Nice. Spotify, Apple Music, or Title? Spotify. Sports car, classic car. Classic car. And your favorite thing about hip hop? Uh, the lyrics. Nice. And yeah. that was sixty seconds with design. <laughs> <That was> solid. <laughs> yeah. Performing coast to coast and one for the money. This is Design on the Rodriguez Show. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Shit feel good, come on. Shout out Giovanni. Yeah. Uh, it all started with my name at the top of every page I was aiming for profit Kept my name in the sky with the planes that to fly in Chasing dollars in the American dream President seemed excellent to everything I'm keeping it clean, no flaw, flow game sharp I pop like propane when the song name dropped The come up was cool, one for the money was a classic One for the money part two is coming after It's magic when I rap the speakers bang and I'm laid back I know people that keep it dangerous and some Seek for fame, never seeking changes they don't want peace they rather have a peace let it be for gangsters i'm thinking maybe for the music business i gotta start moving different a truer vision or set my path every step on the righteous road when i write keep it tight and the mic is gold yo i jump from coast to coast when the song starts bumping you love the flow the most is cold my hustle is known to show My skill doubles Ain't nothing that's coming as close Yo, I jump from coast to coast When the song starts bumping You love the flow the most is cold Cause my hustle is known to show My skill doubles Ain't nothing that's coming as close I've been the meanest and the cleanest with the flavor A sharp tongue always known for speaking like a razor Keeping the greatness Every track is catered to you I blaze a booth at the sun but aim for the moon It's safe to assume my cleverly flow was kept in my notes Better than whatever you spoke I never lose hope I put that on my grandmama's daughter I had something thought of that can't put me on top When well, my name's in the sky past the limit I want infinite cash my 
Babs could get it, grasp the lyrics If you hustle, you have to feel it And this is a grand show, hustlers have to witness I stay the illest with a quick 16 I never flaunt, but when you spit this clean You got to rock the spot and make it hot My name could pop, but the game I play it smart like Yo, I jump from coast to coast When the song starts bumping, you love the flow the most It's cold my hustle is known to show My skill doubles, ain't nothing that's coming this close Yo, I jump from coast to coast When the song starts bumping, you love the flow the most It's cold, cause my hustle is known to show My skill doubles, ain't nothing that's coming this close Yeah Out there. Yeah, it's the time from the past where I rhyme in my rap. A blue collar work a child with the mama whose house I thrive in like a flower, getting sun through the roots. Was taught young, cut the grass, you'll be stung in the boots by the venomous fangs. Type of venom you should dodge. Type of venom trying to get the cars in your garage. So I keep my circuits I Expose the clowns who want a fast life, flashlight, slow them down. Yeah, I'm by the pop, is what my pops had told me. My dog said the same thing, just know I got us, homie. By 18, I got a plan to make a million. Shake a building up, create a stage to raise and live it up. So as I said, think of more ways to gain profit. Make a project, have less space in my pockets. The plan spotted over the plug mic. So love to my folks, give a toast to the good life. It's one for the money two for the hustlers three for the kid with the flow for the customers five for the trouble six for the jugglers seven for the spitters trying to aim for a couple bucks one for the money two for the hustlers three for the kid with the flow for the customers five for the trouble six for the jugglers seven for the yeah, I represent the moms of two jobs and minimum wage To get a smile for their child is a winner display The brother posted on the corner with adrenaline raised For the daughter who wants a bike that she been begging for days You feel me? Type of hustle is not a be knocked You'll be regretting any action and you'll not be popped Like a lottery shot or test your luck with the dice It's priceless when your wife is getting something she likes And your fam is said right with a couple of nights It's never cold, warm food, sitting up by the fire Reminiscing on times when the hood swallowed you up Bottled you up, all you thought is Man, I gotta give up, but that's in the past Success now speaking volumes, raise the speaker up I guess my preaching got to you in all of the ways Giving dab to the customers, pound to the money Making stylistic hustlers, one for the money Two for the hustlers, three for the kid With the flow for the customers, five for the trouble Six for the jugglers, seven for the spitters Trying to aim for a couple bucks, one for the money Two for the hustlers, three for the kid With the flow for the customers, five for the trouble Six for the jugglers, seven for the spitters just trying to aim for a couple bucks Yeah Design on the Rodriguez show That was great, thank you man Appreciate it. Yeah. Follow him on Instagram at D-Z-Y-N-E Official Design Official And yeah, that's great man Good luck to you and your future You got a great, you got a great start already Thank man. you, thank you, thank hey. you all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in this week. That's it. Keep it funky. Keep it fresh. Keep it sexy. And we out. <laughs>